This is Pat Salber with The Doctor Weighs In, broadcasting from the Health Technology Forum in San Francisco. And I have with me today a mini celebrity, the winner uh. of a codathon <laughs> that I was uh, attended a couple of weeks ago, and we'll get to that later. Uh, but this is Kevin Hines. And Kevin has a very interesting story. Um, so, Kevin, I, 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 I'm going to turn it over to you and let you tell your story of how you went from the Golden Gate Bridge to where you are today. Well, uh, Pat, thank you for having me today. Uh, I, I, I have a mental illness. Uh, I have bipolar disorder, a very severe form. And in the year 2000, due to that mental illness, I went to the Golden Gate Bridge and I jumped off. Uh, it was literally the millisecond of free fall that I had what I would call instant regret. How you had time to think about it, but uh, it, not it, much you could do it about was it. A, it was, uh, at that point in time, the biggest mistake I had ever made. And I thought it would have been my last mistake because I thought by the time I hit the water, I would be dead. Uh, I hit the water, I went down 70 to 80 feet, and I resurfaced um, right before I, I, I would have drowned. I, I broke the surface. I took a tiny gasp of air as my lungs had been impacted, and I prayed. You know, God, please save me, I don't want to die. I made a mistake. And I bobbed up and down in the water until and when something brushed by my legs. And I really thought... Uh, it was the great white? I thought it was a great white shark and this slimy thing <laughs> was about to devour me. Uh, and it turns out I was on a show uh, years later promoting a suicide prevention cause. And a man wrote into the show. And he said, Kevin, my name is Morgan. He said, I was standing less than two feet away from you when you jumped. Oh. He said uh, he had wondered since that day if I had lived or died. Due to HIPAA laws, he could not find out from the hospital, the CHP, or the Coast Guard if I had lived or died that day. And so it haunted him. It haunted him forever. And he was Un able to figure until out Until he you saw were... the show, and he said, Kevin, the thing circling beneath you was a sea lion. Oh. And he and the people standing above looking down believed it to be keeping me afloat until the Coast Guard boat arrived. After the jump, after the Coast Guard rescued me and I was brought to the hospital, um, I broke my back. I broke my back and uh, devastating injuries. Uh, didn't know if I was going to walk again. Uh, and I went into therapy immediately physical, mental, and emotional therapy. Did you know you had bipolar disorder I knew, before the suicide I, I had known attempt? that before the suicide attempt, yes. Uh, I was on a great deal of medication, some of which were toxifying in my brain. There was mm -hmm. too much medication, uh, which we didn't know until later. So you were under care. I was under and care. you were getting medication. Well, but I was under care, but I was in denial. Okay. I don't want to have bipolar disorder. I don't like it. I don't need it. I don't want to be labeled mentally ill. I want, I want this gone from my life. Mm -hmm. uh, and I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't adequately fight it because I was in such great denial. So I would take my meds one day and not the next. Uh, I would drink heavily on the weekends until blackout, um, alcohol until blackout, uh, while on psychiatric meds, something that could have killed me. Um, and, and I ended up you know, uh, going from that point of the bridge uh, to getting mentally well on a particular regimen. And then for the next uh, nine years, going back and forth battling this disease uh, and back and forth into the hospital, into a psych ward for suicidal thought. I have chronic suicidal thoughts. And so you've taken, I mean, this incredibly, I mean, I don't think I have big enough words to describe how traumatic this event was, and and yet you've turned it around, uh, turned your life around, and um, found a way, working with another doctor that I hope you will tell us about, yes. uh, to get yourself healthy. And so I'd like to hear a little bit about this sure. 10, uh, sure. 10 step or well, 10... I, I got to meet a man named Dr. Daniel J. Reidenberg, uh, Executive Director of SAVE Suicide Awareness <laughs> Voices of Education. And he brought me on my first national speaking tour. And he ended up later on writing the foreword of my book, Crack Not Broken, Surviving and Thriving After a Suicide Attempt. And he ended up, uh, at the end of that book, we co-authored a handbook tool on the art of living mentally well. And it was this 10-step program. I began to use it. I began to get well and stay well most days. And so all of these things 
uh, and more. And then, you know, when I'm having a hard time uh, and all of these things, uh, you know, seem to, by the outside looking in, not be working, um, and if, I'm, if I become suicidal, I'm so self-aware today that instead of you saying to me, Kevin, you know, I think you're having these thoughts and you need to go to the hospital, I say to you, my personal protector, uh-huh. I say, look, I need to go to the hospital right now. We need to leave this at this moment. So you've become what we call an empowered patient. An empowered patient, and I did it with these 10 steps, and now these 10 steps have grown. They've gone from the book, and now we're implementing them into an application, a web application, uh, that will be hopefully utilized by hospitals, uh, high schools, colleges, major universities, the military, uh, major corporations who uh, want to implement it within their uh, benefits package. Okay, All and what do you call the app? The application is pending, title pending, living, <laughs> title ment- pending. living mentally well. Um, under the Kevin Hines Story Productions, and I have KevinHinesStory.com, which has all of my speaking and book information uh, and, and work in the field. Uh, and I and in Kevin Hines Story Productions, we develop short videos uh, on mental health, and we have quite a few uh, there up on our website, and they've been helping a lot of people. Okay, so uh, that's an amazing story from the Golden Gate Bridge to <laughs> getting yourself well. well. At- and the interesting thing is that you don't talk about being cured of bipolar, no, no, rather no. you are in control of oh, your bipolar. Oh, I'm in bipolar. recovery every day. Right. I'm in recovery every day, and it's a it's a step by step process, and they're all baby steps. And they're all baby steps, but they're but now you can actually <laughs> articulate them into the well, ten steps right. of living mentally well. Exactly. So uh, an amazing journey and amazing contributions that you're making, and I in particular congratulate you on winning the Codathon, the oh, Health you. Tech Forum Codathon, uh, not only because um, you know it's a great idea, but because um, you are are doing something that isn't really happening as often as it should in the health right, technology right. world, and that is taking on a tough, complex problem, yeah. uh, such as mental health, right. and uh, driving to a solution. So I really want to thank you, Kevin, and I wish you all the luck. Thank you very much, thank Pat. You. Appreciate it.